Rainbow Friends. I'm sure you can tell by the length of this video. This is like a mini melting basket this week. I am going to be in Disney World on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I'm only going to be melting a couple of days, but I did still want to pull a basket for them and go over my empties while they were still fresh in my brain. I did super under pick this week. So we used one cent like a million bazillion times and almost used like the entire loaf this week, but I think it was a partial loaf. I think I had gifted part of it. I don't know. And I had to pull something extra from the collection. Let's just get into it. I finished up this loaf from that I had from Fantasy Wax Melts in the Reagan's Favorite, which was a iced lemon pound cake. Phenomenal. I have a bazillion of them, and I will continue to buy them. They are so good. That is a staple for their shop now. Fabulous. Also, like a 10 out of 10. This was like a 0 out of 10. Couldn't smell it. Literally, I melted it multiple times, different amounts, stuck my face in the warmer. Smelt nothing. So, 0 out of 10. Don't recommend. Wake Up the Dead by Brita's Fruity Pebble, Lemon Meringue, and Cotton Candy Frosting. Again, I didn't really love this. I would say it's probably like a 6 or 7 out of 10 for strength. But I just prefer Fruity Pebble straight. Like, I don't want the Lemon Meringue. It made it too, like, sharp. Would not get that again. Banana Birthday Cake Cookie Land from Rose Girls. This was phenomenal. I would get a loaf of this. It's amazing. I loved that. Um, sweet but bitter lemon curd and blueberry muffin. I melted this in the kitchen a couple of times after I made like pierogies with a bazillion onions. So I cut through that onion smell and it was fine for that purpose. I bought this before I learned that I didn't love lemon curd. So not my favorite, would not repurchase. Freshly baked from the pharmacist's daughter, coffee house, pie crust, zucchini bread and funnel cake. This was phenomenal. The throw was like a nine out of 10. Loved it every single time I melted it. Never got sick of it would repurchase i'd buy another loaf of it like straight up across the marsh which is chamomile petals fresh air and marsh water melted this in the bathroom this was like blow me out of the house strong i would just like walk into the hallway and you could smell it coming out of the bathroom so it did its job I, none of my bathroom scents or anything i would ever really repurchase they're all just kind of meh to me but it was fine we had this like sushi from Birdies, this was caramel latte, snickerdoodle, and hot chocolate. This was phenomenal. I loved it. Chris did not mention hating it. Actually, I specifically asked him what he felt about it. He said he couldn't smell it. He can rarely smell wax, so I don't know why he even acts like he cares but about like chocolate scents, but I thought it was amazing, and I would repurchase it. We have got Covered Under the Stairs Pink Frosted Animal Cookies from L3. This was really yummy. I very much so enjoyed it. I would definitely get it again. We had Almond from That Smell Good Shop. This was like a 40 out of 10 strength. So good. So yummy. Would definitely repurchase. And the last thing is the thing that I just had to pull in because I didn't have enough things. And I pulled in this Never Neverland, which was sugared berries, lemonade, and sweet on Paris. This smell so strong. I had this going yesterday and I wasn't home for most of the day and when I came home I was smacked in the face with like a fruit punch scent. So strong. Really good. Would repurchase it. And that's all my empties so I'm gonna go toss these bad boys. This is very much so a mini melting basket. So we have two things rolling over. This was the partial loaf I had. I only have one piece left in here. This is what I had to melt like a million times. I only planned on melt doing like two cycles of melting it. I probably did like four because I just didn't have enough wax and this is really good. So I was like, I'll just use it. So we'll finish that up for sure this week. And then I'm going to finish up the order of the white lotus for the bathroom and then everything else is new we have the salvatore brothers i cut this in half like a long time ago but i need to cut it in fourths this is from the scented spells this is one of the first i think this was the first wax purchase i ever made and it's a cologne scent so i'm sure i will enjoy her then I have this sample that I believe my friend Angel Leah sent me because she does not like coffee scents. And it is from Wicked Wax Studio, which I've never tried their wax. This is called Intergalactic, which is coffee with coconut cream. And I'm obsessed. It smells so flipping good. I'm excited to melt her. 
We have this green scoop here from L3, and this is Cookies with the Clauses. Obviously, <laughs> Christmas name, but that's fine. It's Santa's on Keto, Mrs. Claus's Cookies, and Sugar Milk. Mm. It's like a mouth-watering vanilla scent. I'm very, very looking forward to that. It smells amazing. We have got Breakfast with Pappy from To the Moon and Back Creations, which is Fruity Cereal and Nostalgia. And yeah, this is like a straight Fruit Loops, Fruity Pebbles, whatever. It smells more like Fruit Loops to me. And this is what I prefer when it comes to Fruity scents. So I'm excited about that. We have got Pistachio Almond Pudding from the Bathing Garden. Yep, very like almond pistachio. That'll be yummy. So long as it performs, their wax is hit or miss. And I've had that since last March. So it should be good by now. From the pharmacist's daughter, I have a vanilla raspberry blondie, which is frosted vanilla raspberries, sugar cookie, zucchini bread, and pie crust. The raspberry is not floral, which I have a problem with raspberry a lot of the time. Yeah, this is just a nice fruity bakery. I'm excited to see how it performs. And finally, we got a new loaf to start working on from L3, and this is waffle cone, sweet cream, whole vanilla beans, and coffee beans. This is strong on the coffee. Mmm, you really get that waffle cone. Oh my gosh, that made my mouth water a little bit. Let me get something to chop this little boy in half real quick. I'm just gonna use this plate because I don't feel like getting out a whole cutting board for this situation. We'll just count that as broken in half. They're not like even by any means, but I don't really care that much. Flippity floppity, so I did that over the sink. And that's everything. Like I said, it is quite a small basket, but that is simply because I'm gonna be out of town for the majority of the week. I did tell Chris like a specific drawer he can use from my collection if he feels like he wants to melt. I doubt he will, but that is it, guys. That is everything. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you did not, then well, give it a thumbs down. Either way, you're helping out my channel. Comment down below, subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.